So let's start by framing the discussion. If you could help define what exactly is climate alarmism? Well, it, uh, I don't know if there's a good single definition, but it's the idea that not just that humans influence the climate, because I don't know many people who think that at a, at a regional level, maybe even to a modest extent at a global level, we influence the climate, but that we are causing a climate catastrophe. I, I hear it all the time, an existential threat. Mm -hmm. the, the, uh, 1.5 degrees is a tipping point to disaster. We've had, uh, we've had politicians in the U.S. say, if we don't control uh, our emissions by 2030, it's too late. As opposed, you know, meaning that we're all going to die. The, the implication is, if we don't change our ways dramatically, human society will collapse, billions will die, um, uh, the earth will be fundamentally altered as it's never been before. And the problem with all these claims, I call it alarmism, is because there's no factual evidence for any of it. The earth has been warmer before. Life has done well before. Uh, there's no magic. There's no evidence that, that 1.5 degrees above pre-industrial levels of temperature or two degrees above pre-industrial temperature is some kind of tipping point that will bring about disaster. Even the UN doesn't say the world ends, but you wouldn't get that from the headlines. Uh, and, every... that's, and that's a very good point, because you're right. I, I recall a few years ago, I think we were in the throes of COVID lockdowns or something. But you're right. 2030 was this kind of hard deadline that we had to get to, you know, zero, net zero, uh, that mm -hmm. if we didn't change our ways, there would be irreparable damage. We're obviously not at 2030, seven years out. I could probably say I don't think the world's going to end in seven years. But is that just hyperbole? Is that just, you know, rhetoric being used to really wake people up to say, hey, watch what you're doing? Well. It's certainly hyperbole. There's no question about that. Uh, I like to call it lies <laughs> because it's just not true. I deal in facts. And if you're purposefully telling something that you know not to be true, that's called lying. And it may be for an effect, but I'm not convinced the effect is worth. Um, no, I am convinced that if we do what they want us to do, we'll be worse off than if we did nothing at all. And I'm not advocating doing nothing at all, but uh, these are people who ignore China's emissions. China is the largest greenhouse gas emitter in the world, more than double U.S. emissions, uh, more emissions than the U.S. and Europe and Canada combined. Um, and they're on a trajectory to continue to grow, as they admit till 2050 with no change so, in emissions with no with growing emissions they, they're, they're going to grow emissions through 2050 no no so reduction long past programs. yeah yeah so long past the deadline that's supposed to be doomed for the rest of us so and yet these same people who ignore china's emissions praise china okay i'm going to pause condemn. you there i'm going to pause you there we're going to pick this up in just a moment